Hey guys, we're about to get into the video, but before we do, this episode is sponsored by Alex Pandrea and the House of Playing Cards. If you're looking for the best in modern, minimal, and affordable workers' decks with amazing designs printed at the highest quality, visit houseofplayingcards.com and use promo code KEAR15 at checkout to receive 15% off your order. Now guys, this promo code does expire after 24 hours, so once you're done watching this video, head on over to houseofplayingcards.com and pick up some decks. Thanks again to our sponsor, Alex Pandrea and the House of Playing Cards. Enjoy the video. Pescos. What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. Can you feel it guys? Can you feel it? Can you feel how special today is? As always, of course, every day is special, but today's episode is especially special. As you could probably tell from the thumbnail, as you could probably tell from the intro, and as you could probably tell from the title of this video, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the new X deck by Alex Pandrea. Now Alex was kind enough to send me a half brick of these, so I figured why not pop one open and do the review. Before we get started, please do drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. Let's go. Now, in case you guys don't know who Alex Pandrea is, a welcome out of the rock you've been living under. Alex Pandrea is a magician, sleight of hand artist. He also is the founder of the House of Playing Cards, the Blue Crown, Knock Playing Cards. The guy's an absolute legend. So before we do the review, Alex, if you're watching this, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. I look up to you so much, so this really means a lot. So let's pop one of these bad boys open and get into the review. All right, so look at that, just clean. Ooh, can't tell if I'm getting good at that or if USPCC is just getting good at making them easier to open. All right, so this is the X deck. This is the newest edition. Uh, the previous one was black and there was a super rare white version the year before. Essentially, this is not just the X deck. It's basically Alex Pandrea's signature deck. And I have to say I'm already impressed with the color. So the tuck box is done in very matte paper. So it's not glossy as you can see. It does not get that ring light bouncing off of it. It's super clean, sleek, matte cardstock. This is an extremely minimal tuck box and that the only thing it has on it is a gold embossed X and Alex Pandrea's signature on the front. There is nothing on either side of the deck. The bottom has some very minimalistic ad copy. Nothing on the top or back, but you do get this just solid gold seal, which I think looks really amazing. Gold embossing with foil is one thing and then adding that gold seal as an accent. I mean, this just looks like a deck that like Iron Man would have. Maybe that's an idea for the next Super Knock deck. Nothing inside of the tuck box. Let's take a look at the cards. Ooh. Damn. All right, your back design looks like this. It is a semi-thin white border. And as you can see, it is kind of a messy uh, scribbled or like sketched border. It's not super defined. It has three handwritten X's. Uh, the X's mean 10. So uh, the first one of these, the white one came out on Pandrea's uh, 30th birthday. So that was 10, 10, 10, 30. And then also, um, according to Alex Pandrea, he was born on October 10th at 10 o'clock. So 
A lot of significance there for a signature deck. You gotta have that. Absolutely love it. Super, super, super good job with this color, man. I don't know what swatch you were looking at, but that is absolutely beautiful. It's a really good red. This reminds me of the uh, Blood Kings by Peter McKinnon and Daniel Madison. They look a lot like that. Great color. And this is also a very subtle one-way back design. So if you hold it like this, it is different than if you hold it like this. And that's because of the borders being kind of hand-drawn and then the X's are also different shapes. Your Ace of Spades looks like this. It is an enlarged spade pip with Alex Pandrea's signature written right in the middle in white. I'm one for minimalistic Ace of Spades, especially just the class with a signed giant spade pip. I think that's really pretty, great job. And you get the same jokers that you got with the last two editions, which are just some squiggle kind of lightning bolts in the corner of the jokers and an X in the center of each one. Also again, very minimalistic, super in right now, but also really great jokers. I absolutely love minimalistic designs for jokers. I love them super complicated or super minimalistic. Uh, and that's kind of my preference. And I think that definitely falls under the category of super minimal, really like that. In terms of ad cards and gaff cards, you are going to get a double backer that has the X kind of replaced. So you can do a color change effect. In fact, Alex teaches uh, what you can do with this on his channel. So I'll find that video and link it below. And you are also going to get a duplicate queen of hearts. And you'll notice that Alex Pandrea used the uh, Arco standard faces. It's the same thing that he did for the like original crown decks and the same thing that he did for the previous versions of this deck. Um, and I think he actually mentioned in his most recent video that it's because uh, he loves how classy and elegant the Arco faces are. And I completely agree. As you can see, when you fan them, the indices are Arco standard, which uh, means that they're a little bit bigger and a little bit more vintage looking. All of the pips are chunkier and a lot rounder, as well as the indices being a bit bigger than you would find them on a standard bicycle deck. The court cards have also been customized to be Arco standard. So you can see that the faces, uniforms, weapons, and colors are all a lot more vintage and aesthetic, which pays an homage to more classic playing card designs. Now, I really like the Arco standard faces, especially in the court cards. Um, that's something that I wanted to do for the slow hands deck, but since the slow hands deck is based on bicycles and bicycles don't have Arco standard, that's why I didn't do it. So I am living vicariously through the decks that do. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about the way this deck looks. So let's switch angles and talk about how it handles. All right, so in terms of handling, these cards feel great. They are on extremely thin crushed bicycle stock from the USPCC. As you can see, the deck is very thin. This may be one of the uh, thinner Pandrea decks recently, uh, but they do feel very similar to the previous X deck. And as well, they feel very similar to all three versions of the Svengali deck, which is Alex Pandrea and Ida Wang. As you can see, the cards fan very well right out of the box. You get a very nice, not just contrast of red and white, but the closer you look, the more you can see that those kind of messy lines making the border really bring out a special aesthetic for that fan. The cards spring very well right out of the box. They feel very thin and broken in already. I would actually say another deck, if you have them, is the blue keepers, specifically the blue ones, because those are on crushed bicycle stock. Here's that new dribble sound. You can definitely hear how thin they are. Listen. Ooh, so good. I really like the way that these cards feel in the hands for sure. Like spreading the cards is giving me a very satisfying feeling just because the cards are so crisp and thin. The thing I really like about Crushed Bicycle Stock is the more you shuffle them, the better they feel. So I'm very excited to, uh, to break one of these in. The cards definitely Pharaoh best from top to bottom. Give them a riffle shuffle. Oh. Here's what the cards look like under pressure. Very nice. Go the other way. Love it. Snappiness check. Nice. So not extremely snappy, which is totally okay. Uh, these cards are super thin, so not a lot of snappiness, a lot of softness though. This is definitely a deck that I would say is safe for magic, uh, for sure. This is absolutely a worker's deck. And I say that just because it has the uh, standardish faces, the minimalistic design. It's something that your spectators are definitely not gonna be confused by. 
Now the same can be said for cardistry. I think this is definitely a deck you could use for cardistry and not have any issues with it. Uh, and that's just because of the nice bright contrast of the red and white. But also again, with that minimalistic design, it just looks great and flourishes. And uh, there you go. <laughs> I, never, I never get tired of it. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode and my review of the new X deck by Alex Pandrea. If you guys are interested in picking up some of these limited edition decks for yourselves, I will leave the link to Pandrea's website down below along with his YouTube, Instagram, and whatever else. Just another big shout out to Alex Pandrea for hooking me up with some of these decks. I can't say this enough, not only am I a huge fan, but so are almost every single person viewing this video. So if you're watching this, Alex, I can't tell you what it means to me. Thank you so much. Also guys, I am currently running a giveaway. I will make sure that that video pops up somewhere around here sometime around now. <laughs> With all that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day. I know I will. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.